Hey fellow campers, today I thought I'd do a talk on exterior lighting. Now I've done a couple of reviews, one on the Lucy Empowered String Lights, and I've also done a review on the Rebel Lights. So I'm going to do some night shots today on this video, and we're going to look at those. I also thought I'd answer a few questions on exterior lighting and the package that I ordered with my hiker. Uh, I've got a lot of questions about that. Would I order the exterior lighting package again? What's my thoughts? So without further ado, let's take a look at the exterior string light comparison first. So these are the Lucy LED string lights. There's 10 little individual pods. You can get up close here. On a string, there's a USB plug on the end. If you can see that. So you can plug them in and charge them. Um, and then I've got them strung around in my Darchi awning on my hiker trailer and got them kind of running through the uh, Velcro here all the way around to my awning. This one kind of a light test. So here's just a quick shot of how I ran the lights through a carabiner just to keep them in place. So if you want all the specs on these two sets of lights check out my channel. I have full reviews and I'll also put links down below for product description and purchasing. Okay, this is a uh, comparison of the Trailhound Rebel Lights um, 30 footers. This is a soft white non dimmable. As you can see, plenty of ambient light. So, my Hector trailer with my dark shouting. And now we're going to compare that to the string lights of the uh, Lucy M Powers. So, my wife's going to turn those on. And she's going to turn the other ones off. What level do you want? You unplug those. And then turn the other ones on high. As you can see, I don't know why, but those LEDs, you probably notice on the camera, are flickering. It's that kind. I think it's only when they're dimmed, because when they go full power, then also they brighten up. That is a lot of light, guys. So, if you're looking for the brightest light, the... Uh, Lucy and Powers, definitely on high. I only got to last you a couple hours, probably that way. Uh, but they are really, really bright. Um, there's 10 individual LED pods, and I think it's like 16, 18 foot long. It's not as long as the trail homes. I think I like the Rebels better um, because I can plug them into my trailer direct. I don't have to worry about batteries and solar charging and all that kind of stuff. Just goes right into my trailer and uses that battery. But that's a lot of ambient light. So, anyway, just give you a rough idea what it looks like. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. And we'll talk to you later, guys. So one of the features we opted for the, on the back of the hiker was the spotlight option. This is the exterior light option. It's made by Hardcore. You can see it throws a pretty good hot spot in the back. Um, the main reason we wanted this is if you're backing up in the middle of the night, trying to find your way, set up camp in the dark, whether you're off grid or in a state park, we've had those times where you're pulling in the dark and you need to see what's going on and quickly set up. So this will assist with that. Um, plenty of light there as you can see this table. The nice thing about this thing is it's pretty dang bright for one, but it's got a little adjustable Allen on the corner here, and you can aim it straight down. So if you don't want to write in somebody's eyes, you can aim it down and you create just a, um, a hot spot right here at the back of your galley. So as you can see, I can pretty much, with even though turning the galley lights on, I can see a lot of stuff in the back of the trailer, and it just shines straight down as a down light. I love that feature pretty slick and you also get some spill onto your table if that's where you're cooking so that's kind of handy one of the things that I've seen a lot of other hiker campers do is get a magnetic stick-on battery operated light so for the cooking area to throw a little more light here we've got a couple options one option is a battery operated light so I got this little Phoenix CL25 
I turn that on, plenty of light from that guy. Nice thing is, magnetic, also rechargeable. Four modes, six right there. Uh, we've got the the uh, Hiker Propane mount, stick it right there. Plenty of light to see if you set up your cooking here, make a sandwich, midnight run. Or, you can stick it right down low if you needed to. So, plenty of options. Kind of like it up here. It's up, it's out of the way. And uh, you can see everything that's going on. So between the two, absolutely love the uh, light in the back. We're just quick setting up and making some food. Don't want to take all the time to string lights through your awning or do any of that. Keep it simple. So let's talk about the exterior side light option that I ordered. Um, these are made by a company, I think it's called Dreamlight. Um, this is the 12 head option. When I ordered my Hiker, there was a different picture of an exterior light. So the model might vary depending on what they're putting on trailers at the time. So the, the picture was slightly outdated on the Hiker site from what they're actually mounting on trailers. That kind of surprised me a little bit when I got there, but I'm totally happy with this light. So the question I get asked a lot is, what would I do differently? Would I order the exterior lighting package from Hiker again? The answer to that is yes. I definitely love the spotlight on the back. I love the side light on the side. The only thing I would do differently is communicate with the factory on having a second switch put in for the left side and the right side. Uh, if you're staying in campgrounds, you're gonna be blinding your neighbor. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix this. I've contacted the factory, talked to them about it, but the wires are joined in the roof. So there doesn't seem to be an option to switch it. So I'm kind of toying around with some options. I got some brainstorming going on with some friends and how I can put a second switch in so I don't have to be shining my neighbors in a tightly grouped campground. If you're off grid, obviously this doesn't matter. The nice thing is if you hear the thump in the night, you can flip the switch and you can illuminate around your camper and see what's going on outside through the window. So that's really nice to have that. Um, one thing that could potentially solve that is if the exterior light had a switch on it itself on the outside of the trailer. Um, some lights come that way. I don't know. I'll have to see what it, my options are in the future. So I'd made a, a video a couple weeks back entitled lighting options. And one of the questions I get over and over is how did I build my switches for my step lights? Well, I ultimately wanted a Phoenix 4200 mini programmable switch box. I come from the fire service and this is a very popular switch box. But due to cost factors, I ended up just running the hardware store, got myself a blue box, a three gang switch, uh, I drilled a hole in the side of the thing. I fed all my wires into there and into a standard household switch. That's all it is. And that's how I made my switches. I ended up just taking a little piece of label tape then and putting some label tape on it, labeling it out, and screwed it to the inside wall. That's it, guys. Anything else you guys want to see, like, share, and subscribe on my video. Any other videos you guys want to see or things with my trailer, teardropping, camping, uh, any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.